Hello everyone and happy 5,000 subscribers. Um, this tiny little channel has hit 5,000 subscribers. Very, very cool. And we are going to expand our interests. I wanna start a new series here in addition to the other editing series that we do, which explores what it's like to perform the exact same task in both Capture One and Adobe Lightroom, just so we can see what actually the differences are. And the first one is going to be recovering information from deeply underexposed areas. Here we go. So what we're gonna see is that I have here the same incredibly underexposed image in Capture One, and here is the exact same image inside of Adobe Lightroom. It is the same image that is simply indexed into both catalogs. And what we're going to do is merely take the image, expose it brighter, and pull down highlights and see how much information is recovered. That's it, that's the comparison that we are doing. Here we go. One difference is that if I take the exposure slider inside of Adobe Lightroom, I have five stops that I can brighten it, which is pretty impressive. And that is quite a bit of recovered information right there. And the highlight slider I'll bring down all the way. But the difference I was referring to is if I come here to capture one, I can only bring up the exposure four stops. Now I can still take my brightness slider and bring that up as well if I want to, which does, as we have explored, work differently than the exposure slider. So for a straightforward comparison, let's look at both results. I will take highlights down all the way to negative 100. Here we have exposure brought up four stops. And if I come here to Adobe Lightroom, this is five stops, which has recovered more brightness in the image. And that's pretty impressive right there that we can recover that much data. I'm gonna zoom in to 100% so we can see it. Now, I have brought up the exposure of a nearly completely black area of the frame and it has introduced a lot of noise, but that is not the topic we're exploring today. Merely how much information can we recover? If we want to take a look at a comparison of what four stops of recovery is like, so that it is the same degree of comparison, we could bring this to four stops inside of Adobe Lightroom, and that is the same amount recovered in both software. So here's the same area of the frame. Let's actually change this drop down to maybe 66% view, so it's about the same. And now we can come back and forth, and we're gonna see that there's definitely a difference. The same amount of exposure recovery inside of Capture One has actually made the image slightly brighter than it has here inside of Adobe Lightroom. Now I can make the Adobe Lightroom image brighter still by cranking up that exposure slider. So this is the same amount of exposure recovery inside of both, pretty impressive. And now we're going to take the Adobe Lightroom one all the way up to full just so we can see the max amount of output. And I'm gonna come back in and see what it looks like. So if I take a look here, and then I come in here. Again, we're looking at a wide view and a zoomed in view just to get all the relevant information. What we're gonna see is that I actually think that the highlight information has been preserved better inside of Adobe Lightroom. If I take a look here, particularly the way that it looked at the four stops of recovery, we actually have more information inside of the highlight region uh, in Adobe Lightroom than in Capture One just with those two sliders, which is pretty impressive. However, I do like the depth of information and the contrast that's been maintained inside of Capture One better. I think that we've actually kept more black points, we've been able to keep more contrast, and as a result, the cliff face here is actually a little bit more nuanced and interesting. Can we adjust that with black sliders? Of course we can. We're just taking a look at highlights and exposure sliders here. But that's an interesting start. Now. A little bit of bonus here, if we come in, and let's come into 100% on the trees, this is going to be noisy because this was shot with uh, an A7R 3 if I remember correctly. Uh, but if I come in, and I think we might do, yeah, let's do a 200% zoom in just so we can really see. This area, we have more depth and black and contrast inside of Capture One. Uh, and I think we actually, let's do a fair comparison. Let's come to four stops. 
if I take a look inside of here, I would actually make the argument that the noise control looks a little bit better inside of Capture One, but I will make the argument that the actual noise reduction inside of Adobe Lightroom, especially with the new uh, denoise button that sends the image up to the cloud, the noise recovery inside of Adobe Lightroom, I would argue is better than inside of Capture One. Uh, that would be kind of my estimation off of recovering what is a significant amount of noise because remember, we came from nothing here, right? So that is the exposure and highlight recovery from a dramatically underexposed image. This was, as you can see at the bottom, part of me shooting an HDR series uh, during sunset. So that's why the uh, image was so underexposed. But we were able to recover this much pretty easily inside of both softwares. And so while I'm kind of showing a little bit of difference here, uh, the amount of recovery either way that you go is really impressive. So whichever one you're working with, I think that you're going to be able to get fantastic results. All right, so I want to do a couple more of these kind of comparisons in the future. And if there's some uh, interesting types of comparison or types of uh, editing examinations that you want me to take a look at as we go for our next 5,000 subscribers, uh, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope that you have a lovely day. Thanks a lot. Bye.